Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create a regional cluster in Google Kubernetes engine. Well, we create a regional cluster to increase availability of the cluster's control plane and workloads during cluster upgrades, automated maintenance or a zonal disruption. When we create a regional cluster instead of a single zone or multi-zonal cluster, replicas of the control plane and nodes run in multiple zones of a given region. By default, a regional cluster's nodes are also replicated across the same zones as the control plane. If you want to read more about the type of cluster, I would request you to visit Google Cloud Platform or GCP documentation. Once you create a regional cluster, we cannot convert it to a single zone or a multi-zonal cluster. And uh, before we begin, we would have to enable Google Kubernetes Engine API. So let me just log on to the Google Console, Google Cloud Console, and so once you visit the Google Kubernetes Engine page, it will take some time for the things to get settled and for the things to get configured. It will take few minutes more than usual. You have to be patient, and when it is done, then you can. Ensure that you have installed the Google uh, Cloud SDK if you want to run it locally, and you can uh, set up default G Cloud settings using G Cloud init or G Cloud config. Let's say you want to use G Cloud init. So, what we will do is you see here activate Cloud Shell, it will take a few seconds to get activated. I don't know what happened here, but it's been running since very long. So let me just scroll it down and wait. And we can cover this part later. I apologize for the delay. Now let's create a regional cluster. So I'll do it from the console. And I'll also show you how you can create it using gcloud in it or gcloud config later. So here we will click on create cluster button. will scroll and take me to my next screen all right now I will do give it a name so I can do test asset cluster one now I will select the regional the the location type to regional right location type to regional and then you can select the desired region for your cluster i can go with the default which is us central one specify a default node location so under node pools here click on nodes these node setting will be used when new nodes are created you can enter a name We're going to add a node pool here as well. Or you can enter the name here. Journal, computer optim compute optimized, memory optimized. So journal purpose. So it's a default node pool. You can change the name as well. So if I click here, it's default pool. I can... Let it remain same or you can change as well. Node version <clears throat> for your uh, node, you can select the number of nodes that will be provisioned. You can select auto scaling. Uh, you can select the name loca node locations as well. And you can select the maximum. Order. Then you can click on nodes. From the image type, from the drop down list, you can select the desired node image. Then you can choose the default machine configuration to use for the instances. Each machine type is built differently. Then from the boot disk type, you can select the disk type. Then you can enter the boot disk size. So I can select to micro. 
boot disk type, boot disk size. Then you can click on create. So procedure remains the same whether you are creating a zonal cluster or a regional cluster. But the option that you have to choose, you can select at the beginning. So insufficient regional quota. So you saw CPU and this project has to go of eight. So because it is, uh, uh, it is the non enterprise project. That is why it is giving me an option that my project vCPU's quota is eight. So what I can do here is, I, I can delete it. But you know, the process now, how you can increase the quota. So they say if I want to increase this, I would have to go to admin and quota so I can go here admin then I can go here let me show you that as well okay I am into my IA admin <coughs> IAM admin and quotas now let's see what Say quotas usage USED. You can edit the quotas here. I have to select one compute engine, Google, Kubernetes engine. It would be let me copy paste it. Copy paste it. It takes me to the same screen and then you can change the quota, submit the request. And then you can provision it. So, but now you know how you create a regional cluster. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'll try to answer all of those. Till next time, have a good day ahead. Bye bye.